What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Man, let's get straight to it, man. I wanted to talk about the game. That's the other video I was supposed to drop and talk about. I let the whole thing simmer down. I let Nipsey get the rest in peace before I did any videos really going in on the game like that. Game, you seem to call Kodak Black out for the very same hypocritical thing that you just did yourself. You calling people like Kodak Black out when it's clear as daylight, you've also been using Nipsey for some type of clout, relevancy, and attention, bro. Like, th this is crazy. The game ain't been the same since he lost that judgment for $7 million to that Thotiana, whatever y'all want to call I don't like using the word thought, none of that. I really want to use the words I want to use, but YouTube will flag my video, so I'm not going to use it. We're going to use the word thought. But... You let that little Instagram um, vixen or whatever literally do a lick on you, my G. Like, you supposed to be the, the king of this and stand on your P's and Q's, but you a simp. And when you're a simp, you fall victim to a beautiful woman every time. You would think a dude with the um, success he's had over the years, because I'm not going to say money. We don't know how much any of these dudes' um, money worth, and I don't like counting niggas' pockets. But you would think you'll be on your P's and Q's when it comes to that. You another dude who falls victim to the same type of blue collar, typical dudes who fall victim to the essence of a beauty of a woman. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I can go deeper about the game. Other things that make me just judge his character and who he really is. Like the accountabilities of certain things which are suspect in his actions. Such as like you being on the change of hearts, nigga. You wasn't even the nigga that won victory on a change of heart. You lost and got embarrassed by old girl in the video or whatever. And she went for the other nigga that she didn't even know in less than two days or one day that the show allowed her to date the other dude. So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, who, who really is the game or whatever? And then them suspect pictures when 50 dropped on you or whatever of you being a stripper or whatever. Like, I, that's pause right there. And I ain't going to even get, get in deep in that. But that does... Look iffy for a street cat to be known to be doing this. I don't care what y'all tell me or try to cover it up as. Game is very suspect, and now y'all gonna tell me what? Because he got a tattoo on his chest of Nipsey. He's supposed to be some authentic official G. Nah, I, I, I can't vouch for that, man. I'm sorry. I know real LA niggas who ain't never vouched for that. That move right there show a lot of sucker shit because the game is the king at getting everybody in their bomb tatted on him. Please, man. A lot of y'all young cats probably don't even remember that era of 2006. So I, I ain't gonna go back and forth with people in the comment sections. No, no, no whatever, man. Um, Josina, I don't know whatever his name is, the game, the real name. I'm not here to tease a nigga for his real name. That's corny, so I ain't with that. I'm just strictly going on this nigga's action, his moves, and it's about seeking clout. This nigga is sick with clout. And I feel like every time he's going through some, some type of hardship through his life, he's reaching for different levels of things that he doesn't even belong in the A, B, and C conversation. I.e., this girl suing him. Well, she actually won a victory on this man for $7 million. She really won it two years ago. This nigga been fighting her since. And I, I ain't no outcome. They talking about getting this nigga's profits since he don't want to pay up or whatever. Nigga going through hell right now. And I don't wish that on nobody. My thing is, nigga, if I'm the game, focus on that type shit right now. Because 7 million is a cold lot of change that could go to generational wealth. I mean, wealth for your kids, your great grandkids, grandkids, all that type stuff. I know y'all seen how because you can invest 7 million today, flip that to like damn near 50 million tomorrow or in the near future or whatever. That's to those of us who actually know how to invest. But anyways, that's neither here or there. It's like, I wouldn't wish that on no man. In fact, when that happened to the game, I was like, this is the, the Me Too generations and all that. Where you mean to tell me this thirsty thought is the one who went on the show to see the game, trying to reach for the dude's wood or whatever the, the claim was. And she says the game told her to do it. She didn't want to do it. But she did these things, though. How did the nigga force her to do these things if she did it? So you was at gunpoint? I could say more words, but YouTube been flagging videos, and I haven't been getting monetized for them videos with a lot of views, but it is what it is. But, man, that's crazy. These thoughts, these Christmas thoughts can just trick all these tricks and, and get this, this and that with just the words, powerful words of, he did this to me. He did that. 
he forced or with no subjections of actual evidence or anything or probable cause to show this is true. Nothing. Just the word of a thirsty thought and your whole life could be taken away from you. So I'm I ain't with that. But I damn sure ain't with the game neither. I, I, I ain't never jumped on that bandwagon for years now. This got nothing to do with the 50 cents beef. And don't get me with that West Coast shit. Y'all already know how I get down on my platform. We call everybody out. I show I'm the most non-biased niggas. I call my own Haitian people out when it's needed. My own Briar County people when it's needed. My own black people when it's needed. And anything all over the world, I don't have a certain particular side. Whatever the story is, I give my honest critique about it. And I'm keeping it real with y'all when I give y'all my humblest, I ain't been a game supporter for a minute now. This name dropping, relevant seeking dude been doing this behavior for well over a decade now and it's getting corny my nigga to the point his own big brother, y'all see a lot of y'all niggas is young, his own big brother called out the game and said how he put game on, on the set and all this extra so I remember all that, you can't erase that from me. Your own brothers won't do that to you no matter what type of beef y'all got. You know, blood is everything and the fact the man did that to the game Y'all want me to sit back and take this fool seriously. Nah, man. If anything, well, I'm not going to say what Nipsey Big Homie should have done because from what I've been hearing, allegedly, they've been handling business. So my mouth ain't going to speak on that at all. Rest in peace, Big Nip. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't going to go in deep to that. But if you from the block, you can understand what I'm trying to tell you. It's been going on out here. It's, it's been real crazy and wild out here. So in the words of Jordan Towers, it's been spooky out here. Nobody needs to speak about this man's big homies or whatever. Because things is getting handled. That's all we're going to leave it as. But you, game, like you a clout chaser, my nigga. I want to see Nipsey's big homies speak about Nipsey and all that. That's where I feel refreshed and I feel better to hear the people like when the whole funeral thing was going um that was being introduced no offense to Laura London I wasn't really trying to listen to Laura London when she was speaking her piece and I don't want to hear y'all in the comments coming at me because I defended Laura London with the Kodak Black situation but I'm keeping it a stack she's only been with Nipsey for how long but them homies of Nipsey's been with him since like toddler age type shit that's who I want to hear from so that's who I feel so I when I see the game doing all this extra estrogen filled levels of rah rah chilling hey you know code that like everybody supposed to be spooked with you because you a weightlifting ass nigga my nigga i ain't gonna talk what i mean when i say muscles don't mean shit my nigga like we put we we stopped having this thought of muscles meaning shit back in like what nine, 1999 my nigga we didn't see the best of them get knocked out and we ain't just talking about knockout this type of way so calm all that rah-rah shit down my nigga you act like you missed the untouchable way too much like i give it to you for what y'all did the um what's that nigga name um 40 glock or whatever but at the end of the day it was like 40 of y'all or something versus one nigga 40 glock was by himself so at the end of the day i ain't, I ain't clouting and, and capping for 40 glock he deserved to get his ass up or popping out the mouth regardless if it was one nigga or regardless because if my homies was with me and you got one nigga popping out the mouth. Who's to know? Who's to say what my homies wouldn't do as well? So I ain't, I ain't knocking you for that. But nigga, you ain't Mr. Untouchable. Rosmo already proved us. This. Rest in peace, Rosmo. He proved that shit already. When drop, everybody know what I'm talking about. We ain't gonna say it on my video. But the, that happened to the game at the mall. Just a rock. The game got raw. That all right, That's how we're gonna say it in the algorithm. The game got raw. He got rocked in the mall and everything. Rosmo didn't lie about that. And that's the thing that probably got Rosmo touched because he was a, a had a lot of bravado. He talked a lot of mess. He did like, I felt like he shouldn't have done that to Bosco 100, but that's neither here nor there. Who am I to tell other people how to get down? It's just, if y'all part of, y'all ain't, ain't part of the same set, but they still red blood. And you didn't have to treat Bosco like a crab like that. No offense to my, um, Crip families or whatever, this and that. No offense to y'all. I'm just calling it what it is. You know what I'm saying? You got to give at least that one-on-one -on -one fade if you're going to... That, that's all I took away from that, but I never took it deeper because that's not my beef. That's their situation. So let the dead rest in peace. But yeah, Rosmo put a licking on the game and nobody never went deep on that. Nobody never even disputed Rosmo claim as well. Game ain't never dispute that. He tried to in the magazine when XXL magazine used to be one of the toppest publications out here. But that's all I'm saying, man. Stop being a hypocrite, bro. You didn't do the same shit for Kim Kardashian and Kanye West situation. You remember that, nigga? You talking about Kodak talking about a man's wife that's dead. But what about a nigga that's alive? 
You violated Kim Kardashian. No matter what we think of Kim Kardashian, no matter what we say, I'm not saying you can say something bad about her or you can't say something about, but I'm just saying you did the same shit to the Kim Kardashian and y'all better don't tell me it's different. Cause this nigga the game knows Kanye. You feel what I'm saying? Like that. Don't get it twisted at all. These niggas that know each other and the game knows the man, wife and all that. Like my nigga, we, we, we're pretty sure a lot, not just you, a lot of rappers ran through them sisters. I'm gonna keep it a stack. My nigga, like, what, where's, what, where, where, where's the cool points you want for that shit? That's what I mean about the game. You did a whole song about going in on the Kim Kardashian sisters. You did a whole song about that shit. My nigga, it gets lamer than that, bro. Where I grew up from, the 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 trees we were knocking down. I'm talking about the chicks. You know what I'm saying? When they when they came through. These females was running around looking at us with respect, honorable, because we was like this. I ain't going to tell old boy, oh, your girlfriend used to be my piece of, you know, this and that back in the day. That's weirdo shit. It be girls I be in the mall with with my wife, and I keep it a stack with my wife. I don't say what I did with the chick, but I be like, you see that girl over here? I used to know her. I think my wife knows now when I say I used to know her what code that, you know, posted me. So ain't no beef, ain't no drama if this chick over here looking at my wife silly and all this extra extra um crap or whatever my wife could take it in a certain way without getting mad cuz you know I owned up you know this this my ex type thing over here this and that same scenario like that ain't nothing that need to be a whole song about it my nigga like you ain't never got no punani before or something like bro like you remind me of every nigga that finally get a, a chick situation and he bring it up and either want you wanted you to smell it you know what I'm saying? Or, or he wanted to gloat it to the whole school. This the chick I knocked down or whatever. What? Like, like I don't know. I don't, I don't move like that. I've been in situations where certain some of these chicks was married. Who I knocked down. They were married. I ain't know that. But even when I did know and I seen them in a the mall or something like that with their husbands and family, I kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? I ain't stare at all that. I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm I'm knocking down your hole. Like so many niggas want to prove to another nigga, I got your girl, nigga. Like, nah, mine's can be God. Yours can be God. It's a female. What the hell? She's unbalanced. You don't get no cool points for that. The female essence of a female, if you a true player, or you a true gentleman, or in the words of being Haitian, you a true Jean Jean. If you a Jean Jean, like your boy Bless One over here, you get it's easy to spit rap to a female and now she connected to you, even a chick who hates you. My nigga, I don't know about y'all. I'm not trying to show off, but it's my marriage is keeping me with my sanity of not having about a hundred something girlfriends right now. It's just too easy. That's why I understand niggas like Tech Nine chasing these little girls when you got all these beautiful women in the world, these dudes being pedophiles. But that's another video for battle rap. I wanna stay on this. The game. You, you you looking corny out here, my nigga, and I got to keep it a stack, bro. I can't just call out T.I., call out Kodak without calling you out, bro. Honestly, T.I. in the game got me more mad than Kodak did himself because it's like these niggas been the most clout seekingest suspect niggas that's been in rap for years now, over a decade. Niggas ain't calling that from T.I., glorified snitching days that y'all don't want to discuss, but we're going to play it off like the nigga wasn't a convicted felon with all them arsenals of weapons, but we're going to act like, oh, it, was, it wasn't a lot of weapons and it wasn't military-style weapons? All right, let, let's play it off. All right. And I ain't saying he snitched. I'm just saying it's deeper than that, too, because there's some suspect behind that. And ain't don't tell me because he's rich. They don't give a fuck about a nigga in a dollar. Knock it off of that, man. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.